Okay, so this is the tank in which the snake lives. As you can see, there's a water bowl to the right. There's a little tree thing for him to climb in the middle. And there's like a little leaf thing for which in which he can hide because that's what this snake likes to do. It apparently likes to hide. On top of the tank is a heat lamp. As you can see, it just pumps out heat. You just stick that over him and he'll go under it when he needs it. So as you can see, I'm holding this guy in my hand. His head is like getting really close to my hand and I used to freak out but not now although I am kind of freaking out get off get off my hand okay <laughs> but yeah in general he's really chill he just kind of especially when you just take him out he sort of just sniffs the air for what's going on um, call it a ball python because he likes to curl up in a ball as he's kind of doing now but he's sort of getting used to the air and now he's going to stretch out. Sometimes if you hold him by the tail, he will kind of elongate. This is what he looks like, his face. He's smelling my camera, apparently. And to give you an idea of how big he is compared to my body, that's what he looks like. So, put him down, and he's kind of in this ball position, little bitch, I think he's molting, his eyes are kind of blue. Alright, so now he's getting comfortable enough to start wandering. Um, he's actually so chill that sometimes it can get kind of boring watching him waiting for something interesting to happen because he takes his goddamn time with it. Um, I don't know if you can see, but his eyes are kind of bluish. As I mentioned, it means he's molting. About once every couple months, he sheds his skin, and uh, during that time, that's pretty much all he does. He just sort of, you know, loosens his way out of his skin. He also won't eat during this time, which I had to learn the hard way. Um, and yeah. So it looks like he'll be molting soon, um, and right now he's just kind of not really into performing for us, but just to step back a little bit, this is kind of what he looks like from a few few feet away. Alright, so like I said, he's kind of a little bitch, so he always tries to hide, and right now he's trying to hide inside my coffee table. Get the fuck out of there. Get out. Okay, so now he's getting a little more comfortable, so he's moving around. And right now on my neck um, I don't do this every day <laughs> I'm doing this just to show you how not a big deal it is I guess it's more for Jim maybe you can get off on it but anyway here it is the, s the snake necklace so here's some additional things I'm going to be giving you with the snake and the tank it would be all this bedding, which you'll see there's only a thin layer of in the tank. 
and if you're really good you can change it out once a month but if you're like me I've had the snake for about a year and a half I've done it maybe like three times so this is pretty much a lifetime supply you'll also be getting this random thing which is just kind of a blanket um, in the winter if your apartment or room gets really cold you can throw this on top of this tank just to keep some of the heat in you know so that comes along and then finally this guy um, if you go to the store and buy live mice and your snake is like not hungry and not wanting to eat it and sometimes you can keep the mice in here and uh, you know it's kind of like a little holding pen for the food so you would get all of that you'd get these three items plus the tank and all the stuff in it plus the snake all for nifty price of zero dollars